Hey guys, on to today's tutorial, we're gonna teach you how to update your Mac. All right, so it's both your Mac and iTunes. So we're looking at this latest update from Apple, and we're also looking at iTunes 12.8. Okay, so this is a not huge update. However, you will have to restart your computer. So keep that in mind, so make some time, all right? So first of all, you guys have to go into your app store. So it could be down here below, sure, why not? But for most of you, just go up to your left hand corner. You guys will see the app store right there, your third option, all right? So let's just click right there. Now you guys should see this right away. However, some of you might be in featured right now. So just click your last option where it says update right here. Okay, so as long as you guys click there, you guys should see this coming up. Um, just let it low for a little bit. And we're gonna click on more. Once you guys click on more, you guys will see the two updates, okay? So you guys could do iTunes first, and then do the restart with uh, this update right here. So it's up to you guys, whatever you guys wanna do. So let's just click on update iTunes first. Okay, so I do recommend updating iTunes first and then going to Sierra because then one thing won't get in the way of the other. Um, really the whole process, the downloading time plus the installation time really depends on your computer and your internet speed. So for most of you, downloading will not take long at all, really. Um, you guys should be taking maybe 15 minutes if you have really slow internet for this iTunes update. And installation time kind of requires your machine. So it depends um, how much RAM you guys have, how much space you guys have on your computer, and how fast it is overall. So right now my computer is running a little bit slow just because I'm doing a lot on it. So it's running a little bit laggy, so installation time will take a little bit longer than for most of you. Um, however, as you guys can see right now, it's telling me one minute, right? So at this point, I'm actually just gonna go into right here and click on download and restart, okay? So if you guys do that, it's not gonna restart right away. It's gonna start downloading and then when it wants to install, that's when it's gonna actually restart your computer. So as so you guys can see right now, it's 1.32 gigs. So again, that depends on your internet speed. And um, yeah, then it, you guys are gonna see a black screen, Apple logo, loading bar, and that's pretty much it. It's just gonna do a soft restart. It's not something humongous. However, before doing this, all right, just make sure you guys have a backup. So I use Time Machine to back up my Mac. I highly recommend it. Time Machine is something that's installed on all your Macs. However, um, if you guys care about your information, I would highly, highly recommend getting an external hard drive and just using Time Machine to back up your entire Mac, okay? So let's say something goes really wrong with this update. Um, or maybe one of your programs stop working because of this update. You guys want to go back. Well, that's when Time Machine comes in handy because you guys can always go back in time using Time Machine, okay? Now, again, this is a program that's installed already on your Macs and all you guys have to do is buy an external hard drive. That way you guys can have your backup there. So highly, highly recommend doing that. I do have videos showing you guys how to set that up if you guys don't have it already set up. But remember to always do that before any update, no matter how small it is. Even with iTunes, you guys may want to do that. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.